studying about the mixed cylinders. In our earlier lecture, we have been uh, studying about the uh, have an introduction regarding the mixed cylinders. So today we will analyze the fluid pressure and the stresses induced into the uh, mixed cylinder due to the fluid pressure uh, inside the cylinder or inside the vessel or a thick vessel or a thick cylinder. So that thing is we will be analyzed with the help of the Lamis theorem. And as for Lamis theorem, some uh, assumptions may be there like uh, fluid is non-compressible. First of all, Dusra fluid is uh, homogeneous and fluid pressure is constant. Third one is uh, the thermal expansion into the material that is almost uh, negligible. So these things are being uh, the assumptions that will be taken before going for the Lamis theorem. So, as for Lamis theorem, so this is the cylinder, this is the yellow line, you will see this is the outer periphery and red, red one is the inner radius of this complete cylinder. So, we will be assuming elemental ring in between the inner radius of this cylinder and the outer radius of the cylinder. This is the inner radius, inner ring, which is of the violet color. So, as far as the radius of this inner ring is concerned, the radius of this inner ring is uh, small x we have taken and thickness of this ring is taken as the dx and the pressure inside pressure inside this ring will be taken as px and pressure outside of this ring we are analyzing this ring only please remember this is the fluid ring so pressure inside this fluid ring will be px plus dpx so this is this one so point number one r1 and r2 are the external and internal radii of this cylinder that i have already told second point l is the length of this cylinder l is the length the complete length so this is the cross-sectional we have shown i have shown to you the length may this is the length of the cylinder point number three px is the radial pressure of the fluid inside the cylinder radial pressure means like this it is going along the radius of the cylinder. Point number 4, Ps plus Dps is the radial pressure at the outer ring of this, uh, uh, at the outer periphery of this ring. So, we can do Ps into Dps. So, this is the outer So, next point, sigma x is the whole stress induced into this ring. Sigma x will be the induced uh, hoop stress Hoop stress is due to the temperature if that is true. Next one is the bursting force. Bursting force means if any fluid inside of any vessel is there and the pressure inside that fluid, uh, pressure inside that vessel of the fluid increases. So there may be a tendency to burst. It. You might have seen the pipe of a fluid pipe or a water pipe getting bursted due to the high pressure inside or a high velocity. So, bursting force will be equal to the means we are analyzing this method. Bursting force. Force is always equal to the pressure multiplied by the area. So, what is your pressure inside inside this ring? Px. What is the area of this ring? Area that will be 2x into L. How this 2x into L can press? If you see this elemental ring, So this is your x and this is your dx. So this is your inside portion. If I make it with a blue color, this is your inside portion. So from here to here, this is your x, 2x. Because it was your x, this is your 2x. And from here to here, this is your L. So almost it became a rectangle. So what will be the area which will be under, which will be under the pressure of Px? So that is 2x into L. Agreed? So that the same thing I have written over here. So Px, Px into L. 2x into L. So this is the area. Minus pressure at the outside, pressure at the outside into the area. What is the area? x plus dx, so this is your 2x plus 2 into x plus dx, so this is also get twice, dx is also twice, so x is also twice, so 2 come outside, so the existing area for the outer 
time will be equal to into x plus dx into capital. So this is so this is the bursting force which will try to burst the cylinder from inside due to the So how to save this? What who will save? So resisting force will be equal to this is the resisting force sigma x into two dx. Resistive force means this is the thickness, this is the thickness which will resist, which will resist the uh, ring to sink. It will try to save it uh, from bursting. So the resistive force will be equal to two into dx into L. See the behavioral portion of the linear as if, as if it is the thickness of the material which is which is uh, resisting, which is resisting from getting it. So, sigma x into what will be the resistive area? This is dx, this is dx. 2 dx into L. 2 dx into L. So, we have to compare this equation. Sigma x into 2 dx means the resistive force must be greater than or equal to the bursting force. Only then it can be saved. So, we are taking like at least equal to. So, so this is your bursting force that is we have taken in the stack number 6. So after solving it, we are obtaining this equation and writing it. After solving this, this equation, I am I have reached to the conclusion. Sigma x equal to minus dx minus x into dx upon dx. So this becomes the question number one. Now, second point. When the fluid is flowing inside the cylinder, so there will be a tendency to have a pull inside the Cylinder means it will have a longitudinal strain inside the cylinder. The fluid is flowing with a very high velocity, longitudinally like. So there will be a longitudinal strain also inside the cylinder. So we have to take into the consideration. For that, we must be aware that the tensile strength of the material must be good enough to take care of that longitudinal strain. So that is why we are considering that factor. So considering the longitudinal forces which are applied to the flow of the fluid and the longitudinal strain and the fluid pressure. Let us see. Force due to the longitudinal stress must be equal to the force due to the fluid pressure. Means that whatever the longitudinal, longitudinal strength of the material, means the strength of the material under tensile load, under tensile load, that must be equal to the fluid force. That is the condition. So sigma L is the you can say uh, it is the tensile stress induced or the longitudinal stress induced or the strength of the material we can say. Multiplied by the area. Whatever what is the area? Pi R square, R1 square minus R2 square. So this is the this is the tensile strength of the material or the tensile uh, force of the resistive force of the material under tensile load. This point can be called as the resistive force of the material under tensile load. Where sigma L is the tensile strength of the material. So, dusri taraf kya hai? Dusri taraf fluid pressure. Jo ki usko tensile load de raha usko tode ne ki koshish kar raha hai. Ye bachane ki strength hai. Ye induce hai. Ye induce kar raha hai. This is the pressure of the fluid multiplied by the area. Pressure of the fluid multiplied by the area that becomes the this is like this, as a compare. So, P into pi R. Under the tarafi, as a fluid, R2 is the inner radius. So, from here, we can find out the sigma L. Sigma L is the strength of the material or the longitudinal stress induced or the tensile stress induced into the cylinder. Other aapne pass numerical ke the strength of the material under the tensile loading cylinder ka given hai. So, aap yaan se R1, R2, R3. Design कर सकते हैं या fluid pressure आप बता सकते हैं। दूसरी तरफ अगर आपके पास fluid pressure दिया हुआ R1 R2 दिया हुआ तो आप ये बता सकते हैं कि आपके अंदर कितना उसके अंदर tensile stress induce हुआ है या longitudinal stress induce हुआ है और आपका material किस level का होना चाहिए? मान लीजिए आपका fluid pressure किस भी आपने रखा R1 R2 रखा यहाँ से आप 80 mk induce आ गया। It sigma L का equal to 80 mk आपने निकाला। तो आप ऐसा material choose करेंगे जिसका जो स्ट्रेंथ है अंडर टेंसाइल होल्डिंग इट मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन 80 एमपी ओनली देन योर सिलेंडर विल बी 
सेफ अंडर लॉमिट्यूडनल स्पेस नाउ लेट्स कम टू द थर्ड पॉइंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लॉमिट्यूडनल स्पेस द लॉमिट्यूडनल स्पेस मस्ट बी कांस्टेंट सो दैट द जॉइंट्स आर आपका पाइप ऐसे लंबा लंबाई में है वो जॉइंट उसके ऊपर लगे अगर उसके पास लॉमिट्यूडनल स्पेस ज्यादा होंगे या कांस्टेंट नहीं होंगे तो आपके जॉइंट्स के ऊपर लोड पड़ेगा एंड योर जॉइंट्स विल हैव अ बेंडिंग सो वी डू नॉट वांट एंड वी अज्यूम दैट दैट द लॉमिट्यूडनल स्पेस इज कांस्टेंट सो लॉमिट्यूडनल स्पेस इज ड्यू टू 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 थ्री फैक्टर्स हम लोग को ये जो आपका पाइप है थिक पाइप है इट इज अंडर थ्री टाइप ऑफ कोडिंग व्हाट आर द थ्री टाइप ऑफ कोडिंग First one is the sigma x. Second one, what is sigma x? Sigma x is the root stress. P x is the fluid pressure, and sigma x is your longitudinal uh, longitudinal force due to the fluid pressure. So these three things are there. In three or four के कारण आपका ear है, ear is the longitudinal force. How the longitudinal force can be calculated? Sigma x upon e minus sigma x of root stress जो है वो उसको नेगेटिव करेगी उसका नुकसान करेगी जबकि फ्लूड प्रेशर जो है आपका वो इजी करेगा सिग्नल को बढ़ाने में मदद करेगा सो दैट इट वाज गेट नेगेटिव हो गए सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस इक्वेशन इन सो जब एक एक आपका ऑब्जेक्ट कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट है या कोई बॉडी है थ्री टाइप्स की लोडिंग के अंदर है तो उनमें से जो मदद कर रहा है वो पॉजिटिव हो जाएगा उस स्ट्रेन की डायरेक्शन में और जो मदद नहीं कर रहा वो आपका नेगेटिव तो ये दोनों नहीं कर रहे बट इसी क्वेश्चन के अंदर आप देखिए सिग्मा आपका कांस्टेंट है सिग्मा मैंने बताया मेडिकेट की स्ट्रेंथ है वो कांस्टेंट रहेगी म्यू जो है पॉइजनस रेशियो है वो भी कांस्टेंट होगा ई जो है यंग्स मॉडुलस है वो भी कांस्टेंट होगा वो आपका कहीं भी कोई छेड़खानी उसमें से होने वाली नहीं है सो अगर ये तीनों कांस्टेंट है तो इन दैट केस सिग्मा एक्स सिग्मा एक्स इसको मैं जीरो मान के चल रहा हूं सिग्मा अपॉन ई से कांस्टेंट से कैंसिल हो गया सो so, सिग्मा एक्स मैंने यहां रख दिया न्यू अपॉन ई कांस्टेंट है इसको मैंने हटा दिया यहां पे न्यू कांस्टेंट है ई कांस्टेंट है इसको मैंने हटा दिया तो पीएक्स आ गया तो सिग्मा एक्स माइनस पीएक्स दैट विल बी इक्वल टू ए कांस्टेंट ये कांस्टेंट का काम करेगा तो यहां पे सिग्मा एक्स माइनस पीएक्स दैट विल बी इक्वल टू इसको मैंने एक अनदर कांस्टेंट के तौर पे मान लिया तो सिग्मा एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू पीएक्स प्लस 2 एक्स ऑफ सिग्मा वेयर 2 इज अ कांस्टेंट नाउ दिस इज सिग्मा एक्स इक्वल टू पीएक्स प्लस 2 ए और उधर से मेरे पास इक्वेशन नंबर 1 है इक्वेशन नंबर 1 क्या है मेरे पास इक्वेशन नंबर 1 मैंने सॉल्व करी थी दिस वाज माय इक्वेशन नंबर 1 माइनस पीएक्स माइनस एक्स प्लस डीपीएक्स अपॉन ई ये मेरी इक्वेशन नंबर 1 थी जो मैंने पहले अभी आपको इसका अनुभव दी थी इसको मैं इससे कंपेयर करूंगा ये भी सिग्मा एक्स की वैल्यू है और ये भी सिग्मा एक्स की वैल्यू है दोनों सिग्मा एक्स की वैल्यू को कंपेयर किया इनको सॉल्व किया आफ्टर इंटीग्रेटिंग एंड सॉल्विंग I reach to the conclusion p x plus a equal to b upon x square. From this, I obtain the value of p x equal to b x square minus b. So this is equation number. Moreover, आपके पास एक equation है, equation है sigma x equal to b x plus b. तो यहाँ पे b x का value रख दिया, b x का value आपने solve किया, b x square minus a और ये plus two है आपके पास ऐसे ही ऐसे. From here, you can obtain the value of sigma x. So finally, we have obtained value of sigma x and p. ये दोनों ही value आपके पास बनी. तीसरा जो responsible factor है वो है आपका sigma l. जो कि sigma l को निकालने का जरूरत नहीं है. क्योंकि वो strength of the material है. जो कि आपका longitudinal strength में आपको मदद कर रहा है. तो वो constant है. वो decide आपने करना है. So that is why. So these are the two prominent factors जो कि हमने निकाला था. Where sigma x is your hook stress. And P X is your fluid pressure. So, these two factors are the one we have to solve. So, we will solve the numerical one. And after that, thank you. Have you seen any questions?